Hi, I'm Tim from Coffee Geek TV. Today I'm giving you a quick product review on the Nano Presso from Wakako. Why am I giving you this? Why do I recommend this particular mini hand presso? Is because I think it's one of the best robust uh, hand pressos on the market for if you're traveling and you love your espressos and if, or camping even, I think it's an absolutely fantastic product. And let me demonstrate why I think it's so great. So first, it's pretty much all in one unit. So you can essentially uh, take off this, this cup and you just quick, just give it a quick pour, like so, and you can use this for your cup later on, which we can actually pour your espresso into. Secondly, this section here, which we undo like so, this is where the hot water will go, but inside you can store your cleaning brush, like so, and also the portion size of coffee grind that you need for your espresso, which I'll show more later. So we can keep this one here like so for now. Turning it up the other way, this is obviously the end where the actual espresso is gonna come out from. So from here, what we need to do is you, turn, you undo your section like so for the portafilter. It's like a, a mini built-in portafilter like so. And this is the portion where the, this is the component where your coffee grind will eventually go into. So it's, in, it's important to keep all this quite clean. Um, otherwise, if you have anything uh, like any coffee grinds on the edges or whatnot, it's going to be able to, it, you won't get the pressure you're needing to be able to create your espresso shot for. So, firstly, take your espresso uh, portion cup size and tamp, miniature tamp. And what we do is we actually take just a good amount, make sure it's a little bit over full, like so. Then take uh, the like the porter filter, so to speak, and just put it over the top like so. So you're not gonna, if you're in your, your hotel room or whatnot, you're not gonna be a, uh, spilling any a grind anyway. Just tip it upside down like so, all right? And then from here, recommend possibly just dropping it in your, uh, the body of the particular, of the, of the nano press and then give it a, a, a tamp at that point. Just give it a little bit, but not too hard. Otherwise what's gonna end up happening is you will uh, make it stuck from the actual uh, hot water being able to flow. Once you've done that, just put this to one side. Take the top, just make sure that's clean as well. Make sure there's no grind on the edge. Okay, take this, just stick it on the top and then twist it down. Make sure that it's relatively firm, not too tight. Then all we need to do is add our hot water to this section here. And you wanna fill it up to this line. If you got it too too high from this particular line just here, then you're going to find that it's gonna get, um, it would be hard to get out and you spill hot water on your, on your hands and maybe burn your fingers. So I'm just, with this particular breville machine here, I'm just gonna fill this up with some boiling water. Yeah, that's about right. Perfect. See there, we've got the right put, the right size there. And then take the body of the nano press, and then you want to make sure that's relatively tight in there. You see, maybe put a little too much in there, spilled out in the side, make sure it's nice and firm. From this point, we tip it upside down, take our, our mug, make sure that's got a little bit of hot water in it first. You don't want to shock your, you don't want to shock your espresso cold. So, tip that out. And then, where we've got it locked on the actual pump, unlock it comes out. And from here, we just wanna squeeze it nice and slow and consistent. Don't have to go too crazy. Hear the pressure building up now. Here we go. Look at that already, creme is coming out. And you keep pumping it to extract every bit of water out of the out of the nano presso. Almost there. And that's pretty much it. No more water in there. Okay. So then just lock it in the end. And then you go about, obviously if you had this, you could pour it into this or you can put it into a cup like so. Um, today I've just put it in a cup, but and otherwise you can just, once you've cleaned it, put that back on and with all the parts in there. And as you can see, excellent crema on that. So that's why I highly recommend this particular portable espresso maker. 
the Nanopresso from Mokako. I'll give it about a nine and a half out of 10 for portable espresso makers. Otherwise, that's Tim coming in again from Coffee Geek TV. See you in the next review video.